Hi everyone, welcome to Civil 3D Beginner's Guide 101. Uh, so today's episode is for those people who have never used Civil 3D before, but they are very familiar with AutoCAD. So Civil, AutoCAD Civil 3D is basically a smarter version of AutoCAD, if I'm to put it in, in layman's terms. So um, after you have opened your, your Civil 3D, this is how it's going to look like. So let's, I'm going to switch off my tool space just in case yours look, comes looking like this. And I'm also going to switch off my properties. So this is how Civil 3D looks when you open it. First thing first, you will need the two things. You will need to switch on your tool space. You just come and you click it. And you will also need to switch on your properties tab. Reason being your tool space, it's very, very important because it has all the functions or the models that you will have in your drawing right here. It will have your corridors, your assemblies, your sides, your feature lines, your surfaces and your alignments and your point groups here. And your properties are very important because everything that you are going to click. So let's say I'm going to draw the circle, right? If I click on the circle, properties are the one that tells you that, oh, this is a circle. What is the properties and the geometry of the circle. So it's very, very important that you switch on your tool space and you switch on your properties. Okay, so let's start. If you, I'm gonna start on my far left. Um, if you look on my far left, we have what we call the application menu, which is this um, A that has civil 3D. Application menu, it provides you with file related commands. This is where you can click if you want to open, if you want to save, if you want to print. But all the things that are in here, they, they, there's also a quick menu of them here. So everything that is here, it's also under this application menu. So if you click on it, you will see that it has all of them. I like using the export menu. If I want to export my DWG into a DXF, into a micro station, which is a DGN. I always drop down this menu and come to export. Okay, so under your home tab in your palette tab, we have what we call your tool space, which is what I showed you here. It has your prospector, which is this first one. So if you switch it off, you can see that all this other four or five goes with it. So tool space has this four the first four blocks, it's your prospector, your settings, your survey, and your toolbox. So we normally use your prospector, which is where it saves what you're doing on your drawing. And the settings tab, it's also very, very important because it keeps all your styles and settings. So your, your, if you come under surfaces, you'll see that it has your styles, it has your commands. If you come under grading, for example, it has your grading styles. So that's what your settings has. And it also has what we call drawing settings. So if you come under the drawing settings, you will see that it will ask you the drawing units. So if you, like me in South Africa, we use meters, you will put it on meters. And then it will also ask you the scale and the zone. So the zone, normally when a survey sends you a data, they'll send you a data that will say, okay, it's in Republic of South Africa. I used, so here under available coordinate system, the survey will tell you that, oh, I used LO29 South African survey grade, read, uh, the state M1. So this is where you do all your settings basically of the drawing. Alrighty, so that is your palettes. Oh, and then there's this um, one that says tool palettes. This one is basically your your model entities or, or your model, let me call it your modeling, okay, entities. So it will have your your trenches, your retaining walls, your, your road, if you're designing your road, it will have your lanes and your curbs. So everything is under this two palettes. So um, if we go to the next one, it has what we call create ground data. I think it speaks for itself. Under surfaces, you'll see that you have a function that says create surface, create tin surface, create surface from point cloud. And then this is 
the the tab where like you come if you want to create, create services from this tab but it's also under the prospector tab and then there's a points tab this is where you can create points um, create point groups but we have it also under your your prospector tab which is there and then uh, I've never used this traverse one I'm not sure what it's used for and then your parcel groups are basically um, when let's say you have now drawn or you or you you now have your your map and you just want to show different categories on a map so your puzzle basically is your group to say, oh, this one is a tennis court or a golf area. And this one is a primary school. And, and that's your puzzle. And then your feature line is when you are about to um, create your platforms. So yeah, create your platforms. And then grading goes with your feature line. It's, it, it, it's in hand in hand when you're grading. Alignment. So alignment, it's a chainage, um, it's a distance. It goes zero, 20 or whichever me, um, meters or kilometers you want to draw your alignment for. So you can draw it from objects. Um, and then we have profiles. So as soon as you have created your alignment and you have your surface and now you just want to see how the ground looks like, that's where profiles comes in. And then we have your corridor. So corridors, we normally use corridors to model our roads and um, to model corridors do a lot of things. So we have our corridors and then we have the intersection. We all know that um, when you're creating your road, intersection comes in uh, separately. You can create a, a, an intersection from a corridor wherein you just do your right curves and your left curves and you tell it um, at what radius and all of that or you can also come under this function and then we have our assembly assembly it's basically our center line that you you use before you put this pallets um, in, in them and then we have our pipe network we all know that you can create a pressure pipe or you can create a gravity system pipe this is where you come when you want to do your when you are now designing your sewer your storm water and your pipe networks and then the next command we have profile and sections and the profile and section you can create multiple profile views or you can create um, only one profile view sample lines is basically when you want to do cross sections so after you have drawn your alignment you'll see that let's say maybe this is my alignment so sample lines is when you go and now go every 20 meters and it will have like cross sections along those um, 20 meters in a way so sample lines as it when you've done it will be something that will look something like this but yeah it's um sort of your cross it's lines that you use when you do your cross sections and then section views are basically your cross sections you can create multiple of them or you can create just one section and then when we come under draw now this is where the 2d properties come in when you want to draw anything 2D, you can just come here and say polyline, or you can come and say you want to use three points, or you can use your your um, set radius, circles, or your rectangles, or polygons. So draw is basically your 2D properties. And then under modify, those who also know AutoCAD, this also is your 2D properties after you have drawn your line you want to cut it you want to trim it you want to rotate it you want to mirror it you want to fill it copy paste so all of that are under the modify tab and then the layer properties tab it's also part of your um, AutoCAD normal 2D this is where you come in to put things on different layers you can come here and different uh, and create a new layer so that's where you and you can even um, freeze switch on and off make sure the layer doesn't plot change the color of the layer and also the line type of whatever you will put on that layer all of that it's under this um, layers properties and then clipboard also is when you want to cut something copy something match properties of something it's all under the clipboard uh, main um, so obviously everything that is up here it's shortcuts of everything that is down here 
So for example, if you come under sections, everything that is under sections is what is also under profiling sections. It's also under sections. Uh, everything that is under pipes, it's also part of this pipe network. But under pipes now, you can go in and you choose your pipe. You can apply rules. You can tell it what direction to take. So um, basically, the more you start working and using AutoCAD Civil 3D, the more you'll start to see what each function is used for. Um, I hope just this interface will have give you an idea more or less of what is it that AutoCAD Civil 3D is capable of. Um, yes, so every time you open it, do not be scared. Your tool, piece, your tool space and your properties are very, very important. And otherwise, you can fiddle around and, and play with it just to see where everything is. Hope this video will help you. And thank you so much for always, choosing, for always tuning in. Um, alrighty, bye.